Felicia Mabuza Sato was born in Sofia town and grew up in Dube, Soweto, during the height of apartheid. She fondly refers to the township as the dusty and dangerous streets of Soweto. Mabuza Sato started a dance academy aimed at keeping young people out of the street and later started a career as a radiographer and later a reporter at the banned world newspaper, which is now called the Sowetan. She left South Africa for the USA to study towards a degree in mass communication in 1974. After accomplishing a lifelong dream, armed with her undergraduate and graduate degrees, she went on to work in corporate America. In 1992, she heeded a clarion call by South Africa's first democratically elected president, Nelson Mandela. The late former president pleaded with all talented South Africans living abroad to return home during his historic visit to the USA in 1991. Mabuza Sattel says she took the invitation personally because she wanted to serve and be part of the country's nation-building efforts. For close to an hour because it was a momentous period in South African history and she felt she could contribute in the country's transition from apartheid to democracy. Upon her return, the veteran television host hit the ground running with elegance and style. Just six days after she landed, Mabuza Sattel found herself standing in front of the camera as host of South Africa's first talk show, Top Level, which later changed its name to The Felicia Show. It didn't take long for The Felicia Show to steal the hearts of many who watched returning exiles and political prisoners share their difficulties with reacquainting themselves with life in South Africa. Her work on the show earned her the Queen of Talk title and paved the way for a new generation of television hosts. She's interviewed luminaries such as Nelson Mandela, Julius Nyerere, Kenneth Kaunda, Coretta Scott King, Betty Shabazz, Winnie Mandela, Reverend Jesse Jackson, and Ambassador Andrew Young. Mabuza Sato says she was inspired by media trailblazers like the King of Talk, Phil Donahue, by media Joanne Barbara Walters, and by the Queen of Talk, Oprah Winfrey. Musical legends like the late Hugh Masikela and Miriam Makeba graced the stage on her show. Miriam, in the audience here tonight, first let me say the Tanzanian ambassador, which was the first country to give you a diplomatic uh, pass, to give a diplomatic passport. The show is lauded for having facilitated dialogue and helped ease racial tensions at a critical time in the country's history. When asked to reflect on the show, the television icon says she is proud of the effect the program had on that generation. Even though she returned to the U.S., she never cut ties with South Africa. As she always say, my body is in America, but my heart is in South Africa. South Africa's most loved television host even started a talk show in America called Conversations with Felicia, which was aimed at changing negative perceptions about Africa in America. Mabuza Sattel is now co-owner of Leadership Success International, based in Atlanta, which works with organizations in leadership and communication. The Trailblazer also provides inspirational talks to the youth aimed at preparing the next generation of leaders. Asked about retirement, she says she will not retire but that she is on preferment, doing only what she prefers to do, to impact the lives of others.